Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, we've done the unboxing and the quick first look at the hardware. It's now time to do the initial setup, oh yeah, on the Galaxy S5. Let's do this. So yes, here it is, the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, I've not set it up, I've literally just unboxed it and done that video. So we're gonna set it up for the first time. Now, sorry if you can see a bit of flickering on there, that's just due to the camera and AMOLED technology. Yeah, I don't know how to get around that. Something to do with the refresh rate, but I, I can never fix it. Anyway, so yes, here we go. For me, I need to do United Kingdom. Um, you could do, obviously, accessibility, start. You then choose your Wi-Fi network. So as an example, I've got two different ones here. I've got 2.5 and a 5 gigahertz network. So we're just going to log into the 5 gigahertz network really quickly. All right, so at this point, you can click show your password if you want to make sure you've typed it incorrectly and show advanced options. At this point, you can just change some of the settings on there, shows you how strong it is, etc. We don't really need to do that for today. Then click connect. We're then gonna get connected to the Wi-Fi. Hopefully it should connect pretty quickly. We're then connected to the Wi-Fi. And then we're gonna go to next. Now you don't have to connect to Wi-Fi, you can do it through 3G. It's recommended to use Wi-Fi if you have got it, just because it will be faster. So we've got our terms and conditions. Now you can actually play with the phone or do anything with the phone until we agree to it. So yes, we understand them terms and conditions. And at this point, this is asking you, do you think it's okay for Samsung to take some of the data, um, not personal data, just kind of like usage data? I say no, no sound Samsung, but I don't really trust you with regards to any stuff like that. You never know, dear. Right, now we're asked, do we have a Google account? Now, if you've not had a Google account, you want to create one, so you would click no. If you click no, you can then click get account now. Now, if you don't want a Google account, you can do, you can run this phone without one. But you can't download stuff, you can't do a lot of features of the phone. So it's recommended to create a Google account. Now, we already have one today. Well, I already have an account. So yes, I have a Google account. It's going to ask for my email and then for my password. So I'm just going to input that really quickly. So I've gone on to the next stage. I've clicked yes, so I want to sign in. At this point, it's just checking my credentials to make sure that the details are given it are correct. And it's going to ask me a lot of things, right? So do I want to back up and restore? Now, what it means by this it's pretty much where it says it will back up some kind of application data and know what applications you've had installed in the past. And you can actually say, right, yes, I want it to do that. But it will also save things such as your Wi-Fi passwords. So if you've logged into another Wi-Fi network elsewhere, once you've done this, it remembers those passwords and automatically can log you in. Now, there was a big fuss about this. I like the feature. I'm not really bothered about it in all honesty, but I, I keep it turned on because I like it. At this point, location, do you want to let applications give access to your you know, your location? That's such as like Google Maps, um, any kind of satellite navigation, um, some like Facebook, that'll know where you are, uh, Foursquare, etc. Again, I like to have that on there, so yes, I have it turned on. Then communication, now we've all probably ex accepted this in the past. I always untick it because I don't like getting emails from Google most of the time, especially when they try to spam me with, um, try to sell me stuff. You want to go to next again, and what it's doing now is it's going to restore any applications that I might have had on a previous device. Now, I actually go ahead and stop that, purely for the fact that I've got quite a few devices, and it sometimes restores some applications that I've only installed on the latest device. So, yeah, it's not the greatest in the world all the time. Then it wants to know what's my name. Well, as we all know, it's Sam Pullum, so we're happy with that. So, next on there. And then it's going to be asking us, do you want to sign into a Samsung account? Now, if you've got a Samsung account, you can just click sign in. Or, like we can do with the Google uh, the Google account, we can create an account. Now, I'm going to skip this for now because it's not something I personally use. And this point, it wants me to name my device. So, I've been given my phones just a generic bit of a name at the moment. So, it's SJP Galaxy S5. So, GS5. That's pretty much it. Again, sorry for the uh, flickering screen at the moment. And then here we can have easy mode. So you can enable easy mode. Now what easy mode does, it gives you the most basic kind of look on the phone. Um, I may even do a video based upon easy mode. I don't recommend using it. If you're a tech savvy at all, never use it. If this is your first ever smartphone and you've got bad eyesight and you're just thinking, I want it simple, then go ahead. But personally, I would never use it. I want to click finish. At this point, hopefully, it is now raring to go. So again, sorry for that. We'll see if we can turn the brightness down a little bit. So take the auto off. Hopefully you can see that. Again, it's flickering a bit on the screen, so I do apologise. Um, and it's asking me to check the covers to make sure it's actually for fully waterproof. But that's it. That is the initial setup on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Again, I'm going to be reading many more videos based upon this bad little bad boy. But that's what you need to do when you first get any first set up. Anyway, people, that's it. If you've got any questions about this or anything else you're not to do by now, hit me up down below. 
Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Sam J. Pullum. And yeah, subscribe for more. Why not? It's free. Anyway, thanks for watching and you'll see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.